My name is Lyle Massey. I work for OPI Systems, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a site on managegrain.com. This typically happens after installation of the gateway and all of the cable notes. So I will demonstrate how to register the gateway, register the cable node, and map the cable node to the gateway. Additionally, I will show how to create a bin structure and map a cable to the bin structure. This is all on managegrain.com. You should be able to log in and uh, get started. So the first thing you wanna do is register the gateway. That's this unit here. It has a white plastic shell and there are stickers on the bottom of it. These stickers are important for the registration process as they have information you will need. So I have the sticker right here. The bits of information on there are the MAC address and the PIN. So to register a gateway, when you first get started on your system, you have a section on the left that says gateways and nodes. Click on view settings. Next, in about the top left quadrant, you have register a gateway. Go ahead and click on that. So in the top field, you will need to plug in the MAC address. In this case, that is 63B CC6. Next, you will need to input the pin, 2291. Finally, you will need to name your gateway. This name will need to be at least six characters long. Once it is registered, there will be some information that pops up on your screen that is important to look at. First, the status. If your gateway is currently online with a, an active internet connection, it will tell you that it's online. Underneath that, you have the MAC address of the gateway, the firmware version, and the radio channel that the gateway is working on. The next step after you've registered your gateway is to register the cable node. So on the top left quadrant, there's a selection that says nodes. Go ahead and click on that. Underneath, you will need to click register a node. Now similar to the gateway, the cable node is shaped the same, but it has a clear plastic uh, cover with some solar panels inside. On the bottom of the gateway, you have the stickers there as well. You will need to take those with you at the time of installation. So now that you are ready to register your, your cable node with your sticker, Similar to the gateway, put in the MAC address at the top, 08F484, and then the pin number, 4416. Finally, cable node name. I usually just name the cable nodes after the bin structure name that the cable node is on top of, so in this case, let's go with bin number one, and you have successfully registered a cable node. The next step you will need to do is to map the cable node to the gateway. This is done through managegrain.com, but you can see physically on the cable node that it is being mapped through the LED flashing its indicators at you. So on the website, underneath the cable node name, you will see select gateway to be mapped to, in this case, test gateway, and just underneath that, click on map. Once you have done so, you will see a node mapping in progress bar. This process can take up to 20 minutes, but if conditions are good, it should take no time at all. It happens on the computer, but you can physically see it happening on top of the cable node itself. If you look at the cable node behind me, you will see that it is flashing red right now, about once every six seconds. This means the cable node is in an unmapped state looking for a gateway to be mapped to. This will be reflected online as the node is mapped. It has some information on it, such as the amount of cables that are mapped to it, any active alarms, any signal strength, and battery strength, MAC address, firmware version, and the gateway that it is currently mapped to. The next step that you want to move to at this point is to create a bin structure. On the menu on the left hand side, there will be an option that says system settings. Just underneath that, you will need to click on sites and bins. Once you are there, you will need to create a site. First, you must input the site name. At this time, I'm just going to go test one. Next, you will need to input the latitude and longitude of the site location. Finally, you can click save. So now that you have created a site, you can create a bin structure. Navigate to the top of the page, and on the top left quadrant, there is a option that says bins. Go ahead and click on that, and underneath you will see an option that says create a bin. Click on that. Now the first thing you will need to do is enter the bin name. In this case, we're gonna go with bin 01, what we named the cable node. You'll need to do, choose the floor type of the bin, so hopper bottom or flat bottom. And finally, you will need to add the bin to the correct site if you have multiple sites. In this case, we have created test one as our site name, so we may continue. The next step, if you know what type of grain is going in there, is to choose the grain curve, starting with the meter type. Since we are in Western Canada, I will be choosing 919, 
However, the meter type is determined geographically, so you may be in a different location which has a different meter standard. Afterwards, you will need to select the grain type. For this example, I'm going to go with canola. Since there is only one class and one grain curve of canola, it has auto-populated those fields for me. Next, I will press continue. At this time, you're going to be prompted to enter the fill date of the bin. Go ahead and choose today's date, as there will be no data prior to today. Next, if you know the capacity of your bin, in bushels, go ahead and enter that information now. This is a 2800 bushel bin that I'm using as an example. Finally, make sure that your grain level is set to auto detect and you may continue. Next, you'll be prompted to set up your alarm details. There are two alarms that are pre-loaded onto here. First is the temperature rate of rise alarm. This standard comes out at rate of rise of five degrees Celsius per week. So if you're in the United States, that's about nine degrees Fahrenheit per week. If any sensors that are inside the bin exceed the maximum temperature, you will be sent an alarm. The high temperature alarm is set to 30 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit. You may press continue. At this time, you should be allowed to add the cables to the bin structure. At the bottom of the page, you have the list of cables available to be added. Two cables have been installed on this bin, a moisture cable and a temperature cable. I have installed the moisture cable on the center of the bin, so I'm going to add it first by clicking on the plus sign on the right-hand side of the cable list. Next, I will click on the plus sign of the temperature cable, what was the perimeter cable that is installed on this bin. You can see that they have been mapped to the bin structure, roughly where they would exist in the bin, according to the bin map. Next, press continue. You have created a bin structure. So at this point, you may view the bin. Just it gives you an overview. If you want, you can look at the grain info, the parameters, the alarm details, and the cables. This is also the section you would go to to change any of that information. At this time, you have set up your bin structure as well as your site, mapped a cable node to the gateway, and register your gateway. Your site is ready to begin recording temperature and moisture values. Thank you very much and have a good day.